you, Brian. All right, a group of three U.S. senators headed to Capitol Hill today to introduce a historic bill that could put an end to the federal ban on medical marijuana. Joining us now, the Republican behind the proposal, Senator Rand Paul. Senator, thanks for joining us. Tell us about the proposal and who you're joining forces with. Well, you know, a number of states have legalized medical marijuana. It's used for palliative treatment. So let's say you have MS and there's no cure and it helps you to deal and cope with it. Let's say you have cancer or AIDS or something that really is uh, modern medicine isn't quite treating. There are a lot of treatments you can use, but let's say you need palliative therapy. Uh, a lot of people have tried medical marijuana and it's worked. I think people and states ought to have the freedom to, to try this, particularly when there's no cure for a disease. And, and uh, I think you point out that uh, a lot of military personnel would, would have ac access to that that they, they, they may not have right now. Is that right? Yeah, and the thing is, is that uh, we need to allow the states to, to, to uh, take a chance and see if uh, palliative therapy can actually help these people. And I think it's more freedom, the more freedom, the better. Very good. All right, Senator, talk to us a little bit about another project you're working on. Um, it, it, it has to do with civil forfeiture. Tell us what that what that is well basically the government can take money from you without ever convicting you without ever even charging you in fact the most famous u.s attorney for doing this is loretta lynch she confiscated 110 million dollars worth of people's stuff never tried them never even took them to court just kept their money and it turns justice on its head because you're presumed to be guilty until you prove that you're innocent and so I'm very opposed to this. I've met with the president about this, and we're putting forward legislation that says they shouldn't be allowed to take your stuff without a conviction. Now, we have a couple of examples for you. Uh, one you point out, Motel Caswell, 2011, government tried to seize family's property, uh, claiming that some drug incidents happened within the motel, but the motel owners, their property was seized? Yeah, a million and a half dollar motel and over a 14 year period, over 200,000 people stayed in the motel. And I think they accused about six or 10 of actually selling drugs out of the motel, not you know under the permission of the motel. And then they take the motel. One of the reasons they took the motel, even though there are other motels in the area that had the same problem, they took this motel because it was paid for and they can keep all the proceeds. A couple weeks ago in Philadelphia, a teenage son was selling $40 worth of illegal drugs out of the house. They confiscated the house and kicked the family out. How is this helping a, fo a family that's struggling with a teenager who's on drugs to take their house from them? Right. It's crazy and it ought to stop. Senator, there's another one, another case. Victor uh, Ramos Guzman in 2011 stopped for speeding, not given a ticket, but the, the $28,500 in cash in his car was seized. Tell us about that. Well, he was taking the money from uh, to his church. It was from one church to the head church in another town a couple hours away. No one ever accused him of being related to the drug trade or of getting this money illegally. But it shouldn't be the onus on him to prove that he's innocent. The government should have to prove that you're guilty before they take your stuff. This is going on all the time. And when the Washington Post looked at it last year, a disproportionate amount of the people were poor, black, or Hispanic. And so this is another evidence of the war on drugs, not being racist on purpose, but inadvertently having a racial outcome. And we ought to be very conscious of this because the people who are affected by it are very conscious of it. And Senator, you had the president's here, and what was his response to this? The president is interested in doing something in this, but it's funny how the president will come forward and say he's interested in doing something, but then he appointed Loretta Lynch, who's actually opposed the, the, to right. doing anything good one, on this. One of, the, one of the ones who advocate for doing it. Senator, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thanks, Eric. All right, coming up, a gym revokes a woman's